Welcome to Houston, one of the most diverse cities in the United States. Spend just one day here and you can expect to encounter numerous cultures, whether it's through language, music, arts, or of course, through food. In a city with the most restaurants per capita, Houstonians use food to open their eyes and mouths to the vast and varying cultures that are all thriving here in the nation's fourth largest city. That being said, it's no surprise that Houston is home to dozens of annual cultural festivals. These events draw crowds in the thousands year after year. Started in 1966, Houston's The Original Greek Festival has been a popular event for decades. The Annunciation Greek Orthodox Cathedral holds the annual festival and serves one of America's largest Greek American populations. Located in Montrose, the four-day festival is known to be one of the largest Greek cultural events in the country with over 50,000 attendees a year. Beyond the shops, dancing, and music, what really seems to draw in the crowds are the numerous traditional Greek dishes like gyros, spinakopita, souvlaki, and lukamades. I think the Greek festival is super cool in that it unites so many different cultures. I've seen people from all the def different ethnicities that I've experienced since I've lived in Houston just here to experience a new culture. So I think it's a really cool thing that um, festivals like this can unite different types of people. Just look at all these different people from so many different backgrounds, races, all coming together to experience a new culture, to eat new food, to hear new music. It's beautiful. This is my first time ever coming to the Greek festival. Um, I've never really tried Greek food or anything like that before because we don't have any of that where I'm from. So it's a really cool experience to get to experience this like new culture. Oh no, you see people from all over Houston, all kinds of, all kinds of folks like to come to the Greek festival. I mean, people go to it to enjoy Greek food and culture, not because they are Greek. I mean, it gets a lot of Greeks, but it, it generates thousands of visitors on top of that. Lukumades, ah, oh, honey balls. Yeah, basically like little little donut holes fried and doused in honey and sugar. Yeah, that, I mean, you cannot make enough of those at the Greek festival because they sell by the dozens. We have an entire calendar built up out of cultural and ethnic festivals. Uh, you're right, you got the Greek festival, then the Italian festival, the Polish festival, the Lebanese festival, the Palestinian festival, the Turkish festival. You know, everybody's got a festival. And so you can just eat your way through this city on a weekly basis, going from festival to festival the right time of year, you know? I'd say food helps you understand a culture because food is culture. The love for an authentic meal in the Filipino culture is strong and Houston's Filipino Street Festival enables people from all over to experience it. The festival emphasizes Filipino street food culture. Food trucks serving the traditional cuisines were actually selling out before the event was even over. The festival is a living representation of what makes up Filipino culture, which involves lots and lots of rice. Food is part of the culture. You gotta embrace it. There's different cuisines. Uh, Philippines is 7,107 islands, so you can just imagine the number of like delicacies and food that every province has. Yeah, one of my favorites is actually the banana chip. I do, uh, yeah, yeah, banana chips. I do actually like these. Banana chips are my favorite Filipino snack or food. Family meetings, family gatherings, you're always in the kitchen or at the kitchen table, uh, surrounded by food. You, It'd be strange to go into a Filipino's house and realize you don't have anything to eat. So. Food is in everything that we do. Every time there's a big gathering, people celebrating, there's got to be food. So I came for the food, um, and my one of my good friends is Filipino. So, well, it brings out the diversity in Houston, as you can see, we're the fourth largest nation in the states, and there's a big, sizable Filipino group. So it's pretty important that we celebrate our culture and share with everybody. The fence that um, we're using is, I guess it's the generic way of uh, just trying to induce the fire to get, uh, you know, to be, it's, it's a, um, it's labor of love. So that's why it's delicious. <laughs> I feel like the entire Filipino culture was like centered around food because like even not even just like 
Oh, it's not even like just the dishes, but like even when you walk into a Filipino's house, the first thing you ask is, oh, did you eat? So like, it's not even so much like the dishes, but it's also like how much we eat. And like, you can't, if you go to a house and you don't eat, it's like insulting them, you know? Cause like food is so like, like so centralized in our culture. The fact that Houston has so many restaurants is pretty sure is just because of the cultural melting pot. I'm like people with the business mindset it's like, hey, there's a lot of my people here. Let me make a restaurant, you know, because like even like here at my house, like we don't cook that much Filipino food. Just like from the sheer fact that like one, I don't know how to cook a lot of it. I mean, I do know some, but not a ton. So like it's like easy if there's a restaurant nearby that's like kind of has like the food that we're craving. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why there's like so much like diversity in like our restaurants and like the sheer like number of them is so huge. The Puerto Rican and Cuban festivals celebrate the diversity of the Spanish speaking islands in the Caribbean. Every year, the festival attracts over 20,000 visitors from a variety of backgrounds to experience the music, dancing, crafts and cuisine of these communities. The festival celebrates not only the diversity of Houston, but also the diversity within the Latino community. This festival serves as a way for Puerto Ricans and Cubans to celebrate, share, and educate others about their vibrant cultures. Oh, I had a pincho, which I haven't had in several years, obviously not being back home in Puerto Rico. Uh, it was pretty good, felt like being back home. This is a pork pincho. It's a pork skewer, I guess you can say. It's kind of like a sweet and salty teriyaki flavor, smoked. <laughs> so there's two different kinds. Um, this is the pan criollo. Um, it's kind of like a like a French bread kind of baguette. And then we've got this is el pan sobao. Um, it's a little bit more of a sweet bread, a traditional Puerto Rican sweet bread. I've had everything. This is my last dish. Okay, this is our last dish. Um, we had some of the Korean food. Some of it's a taco, but I'm a Mexican, so the taco's a little bit different. <laughs> this is the pork on a stick. That was a lot of pork. So I had to share it with my wife and my daughter and my son. So uh, I hated to share it, but it, we needed to eat it. <laughs> it gives people that aren't from Houston, I mean, a chance to kind of mingle with people that are also from their country. I mean, I think it's very important because, for example, we're from different cultures, right? I'm from Mexico, he's from Puerto Rico, and he's showing me a little bit of how Puerto Rico is. I have, I've maybe, I've been here for about 10 years and I've met maybe three Panamanian people, so I, I mean there are very, very, many, very many Panamanian people here that I've met. Puerto Ricans and typical is that uh, when we're in Puerto Rico, uh, you're so used to the culture that you don't really pay too much attention to it, but when you're here and uh, you meet another Puerto Rican, uh, it's like you guys are automatically friends, uh, you've known each other for your whole life. Uh, it's nice to actually see people from your own culture around. Yeah, that's good. So the festival is what brought us out. It brings people out. And though you may not have anything in common with it, but you actually do get to learn new things and try the food, which is basically one of, one of the reasons it brings you out. Man, that is one of the most important things about our culture. If we're not in the kitchen, there's just something wrong in that house. Yeah, so, um, I'm Mexican, so you understand our food is just, we just have a little bit of everything. And, and so um, it, it's, just, it's just central to, to, to the Hispanic culture, our, our food is. Well, the festivals make us more aware, I would say, you know, makes us remind, it reminds us of how we are as a culture and also raises the awareness that, hey, there's diversity in Houston. There is so many different, like you said, the food festivals, foods, uh, the, the spices, the, the culture, the music. It all brings everyone together as one. My mom was a stay-at-home mother, so I was able to, to grow up and always, whenever I would come home from school and my father would come home from work, there would always be tortillas, absolutely, like homemade tortillas in the table. There would always be a warm cooked meal from her. Absolutely. I think festivals are so uh, crucial to keeping it, to keeping your roots, your, your heritage alive, your culture, because it doesn't allow you to forget where you're from, you know. It's very important to also be aware of other, other cultures because you don't also just learn new things, but you can assimilate and find that affinity with them. It's uh, the culture, you know, that you learn from, from one another. 
uh, when you go back home, you're, there's always going to be diversity everywhere you go. So it's about learning from, you know, from Houston what you have around you and applying it to wherever you go because you never know where life is going to put you next next year, next five years. So it's defi definitely a challenge, um, you know, growing up in a diverse culture if you don't know how to accept it. But when you learn to accept uh, the differences amongst each other, I think it makes it easier to, to be happy. All of this is only a fraction of the diversity that can be found in Houston. From the outside looking in, it can seem impossible for so many different cultures to find common ground. But the reality is, something as simple as a good meal can bring us all together. The festivals serve not only to preserve cultures, but to share them. So, wherever you're from, welcome to Houston. Let's eat.